Um, so I wanted to ask, uh, can you tell us um, what your position was during development of uh, War in the East 2 and generally when you guys started development on the game? I mean, I'm the executive producer, you know, along with Joel, which means in, in our actual terms, I mean, that's just a title, but what does it actually mean in terms of what you do? So I've worked with Joel and Gary uh, to some degree on every game they've released with Matrix since they joined us, uh, the first of which was Uncommon Valor. Um, and That was a great game. We support each of our development teams, and I think you've spoken with Ian and Marco, so you have an idea of this already, but we support each of our development teams based on their needs. Uh, so some development teams need more support in certain areas, some need them in other areas, some need less support in general, some need a lot more support in general, and it varies. And with Joel and Gary, we, we fit pretty comfortably with each other now. We've worked together for a long time, and we kind of know what our relative complementary strengths are. I mean, Joel and Gary have been making games like this forever, and they have, you know, Eastern Front knowledge in every pore of their body, basically. They have military history knowledge uh, all over, and they've got a team <laughs> supporting them, including, you know, people like Pavel, uh, who's a fantastic programmer, and like Jim Worth, who's helped support on the uh, history, historical research side. And I mean, great scenario designers, and uh, great manual writer, great testers. There, there's just been, I think, one of the most important things is just the whole team has, has, is, is incredible that coalesces around these games. And uh, I think Joel and Gary would also say they can't do it alone. Um, and that's the same for me. So I'm basically riding shotgun. I'm providing both oversight from the standpoint of Matrix Slytherin uh, to make sure that if there's any kind of problem or any area where we can help, that it's identified quickly and that we figure out what to do about it quickly. Um, I'm providing, uh, I guess I would call it educated uh, advice, experience advice and opinions when it comes to uh, the fact that I've worked on a lot of other games uh, across many of our other development teams. Um, and I can share that experience and what we've seen from those other releases and things we've used that did work or didn't work with Gary and Joel. So I can bring them some of that perspective from the publisher level down to the development team level. And I guess on the other side of it, uh, I'm an old war gamer. Um, you know, I've played a huge, if, I would say certainly a lot of the uh, board games, uh, Eastern Front War games, and probably every single one of the computer Eastern Front War games. Um, and that's, again, something that gives you a perspective as far as making sure that we don't miss things that the uh, that the customer expects, that we match or exceed the benchmarks that have been set by their development teams, uh, both from the standpoint of user interface and user experience, um, and also just from the standpoint of how we set up um, what what our main feature goals will be for each release in terms of moving that state of the art forward because there are always you know a hundred times more things we could do than what we actually will have time to do and we still invest an immense amount of time developing one of these games i mean these are the war in the east style games are a massive many year development effort um, and even just once you've done the work to um, get all the features in, uh, the testing part of it and the balancing part of it, the part where we make sure that everything's working as it should and that the, the results are historical and that every one of those subsystems is really part of that uh, meshing together of historical things at each level to get a historical result from the bottom level to the top level takes years. So. I'm familiar with that process now from working with Joel and Gary, and I, I, I basically ride shotgun on that and support them in any way that they need support. 